short instruction video on the Femal TX160. Okay, this machine is powered tilt both ways and rise and fall. These are your two readings here for them. So this is your height control. So you've got up, down, and then you've got fine adjust there. If you hold that button, it moves it 0.1 every time. On your readout there, that is where the bottom of your shaft is level with the bed. So if you want to get it level with maybe your cutter block, get your cutter block level with the bed, and then you just hold F and clear, and it zeroes from there. Your tilt's the same. Obviously, this is your tilt backwards and forwards. And then you've got your fine adjust there to get it to zero or 45, whatever. That's your start. It's a star delta start. So you trip it into star and then let the revs build up and then trip it into delta. And then it's running. Um, to stop it, reverse the process. You've got an emergency stop there. Um, this machine as well, the fence lifts off automatically, which I can show you in a minute. You've got your uh, speeds there for your belt inside. So if I look inside, this is how you do your um, belt change. So you've got a little handle here. You just pull that forward, change the belt to whatever um, speed you've got there. And then when you make sure you turn this round as well, this is like a spin dial that changes what the readout is on the screen and then just clip it back in there. Yeah, this machine's got a, a quick change nut, but also there's a plunger there to lock the spindle. I don't know why it has it on this, maybe on the standard machine you have a normal nut, but this has got the quick change anyway, so you don't need to lock that off. Uh, while we're in here, obviously this is your rise and fall thread and your tilt for your um, electronic movements. So just make sure they're all greased up, keep on top of them. On your fence, you've got two readouts. That readout there, is for your in-feed fence that's adjustable in and out. And this one here is for the complete fence. So if you see at the moment, it's at 65 millimeters. So that's from the center of the shaft to the fence plate. So if I put a block on there that was 100 millimeters, yeah, I'd wind this to 50, okay. Fifty, and then you just got your lock handle there. That's your lock handle. So just bring it forward to lock, push it back to unlock. That also locks your in feed fence as well. So if you had an hundred mil block on there and that was at fifty, this would be in line with your cutting circle. Okay. So always keep that locked. So both handles forward is locked. There's a bit of instruction on there to tell you about that as well. This side always stays locked until you're lifting the fence off. So if you wanted to lift your fence off, you push that one to the back, that one to the back, and then you come down here and then you can use this dial to lift the fence. And then the fence goes up and then it swings away for cleaning or if you're using a ring fence. Okay, if them handles are open, then the spindle won't run, okay? So both these need to be locked for the spindle to run. You've also got a slide plate here to get it nice and close to your cutter. So to do that, just, yeah, just turn it straight, push it to the desired size, and then click it off. If you want to get even closer, there's another plate in the back, which can come out. Your quick nut there. If you look on the nut, you see there's two grub screws on this, one at the front, one at the back. You need to be tightening and undoing the one with the little Y symbol. 
So all you do is put your cutter block on, put your collars on to suit, tighten it by hand, and then you just nip it up with your Allen key. You've got an overhead guard there, that's quite easy to self-explanatory. That's your mechanism for your quick release. And that's about it. Your power feeder obviously clips into that socket down there. It's got a wire on it ready. And that's your Thermal TX160.